Jamie Liddell here with five, that's right, five of my favourite showmen. It's hard just to pluck them off the top of the dome, but I'll have a go. I would have to pluck, uh, if that's even possible, David Bowie down from wherever he might be right now. Uh, he deserves to be elevated, of course. Just an amazing a character that can mutate. That's, always, that's probably one of my favourite traits in a, in a great showman. Is he a man? Is he a woman? Is he, like, a bit weird? Definitely. Is he amazing? Yes. Um, so, I mean, you know, number five, David Bowie. I don't know. It's not any particular, you know, hierarchical order. I'm just trying to pull them out here. And then, similarly, a kind of a relatively um, slight white gentleman himself would be uh, David Byrne, of course. Just one of those gangly characters you can't keep your eyes off, do you know what I mean? So, um, and it just brings so much theatre, and I think obviously theatre, performance, inextricably linked. Um, and that kind of weird postmodern disco that just sort of stood the test of time. You know, we've got all these sound systems now, LCD, and all of them wouldn't be here without David Byrne, of course. Next up would be George Clinton and the whole Funkadelic movement. Possibly the only show, if I had to pick one show to go back in time and see, it would have been that Mothership Connection. I got a chance to hang out with Bootsy Collins for 12 hours recently around Cincinnati, and I just chatted with him about James Brown, George, just the whole universe that they were in, and it's just basically the ultimate the insanity. I don't think it can ever be repeated, that kind of madness. So, yeah, George. Uh, then, of course, James Brown himself. No list would be complete without the Godfather of Soul, Mr. Dynamite, you know, incomparable. And I was lucky enough to share the stage with him in Stuttgart before he died. I got to hear him say one of my favourite, like, utterances is, uh, Dankeschön! And when he says Dankeschön, you know, even Ray's, even the suits in the Stuttgart crowd were like, I know, it brought soul brought soul to, I'm not saying Germans are soulless, I'm getting some dodgy territory here, but it, it, it elevated the atmosphere. Which brings me to number one, in my rambling fashion, to, of course, I have to say Prince. Prince is my man, uh, not literally, but he uh, is a man of which I hold, hold a numero uno regard. Um, yeah, I mean, he can dance, he can sing, he can write, he can play. I mean, and he does all of those things on stage to the point of insanity. And, uh, you know, brings together James Brown, George Clinton, dare I say, even like, you know, elements of Bowie. And, uh, you know, he always had his antennae open to the world. Prince probably is my number one performer. Of course, we have to leave out Freddie Mercury and a lot of other incredible artists. And I've only mentioned men, which is terrible of me. Uh, but it's a tif difficult thing to do. Top five performers, Jamie Liddell here, the Optimus. Optimo, Optimali Festival here in Lisbon, Portugal.